So you guys are probably wondering why the speed is in the backyard. Normally when a car is in the backyard, it's like the junker car. Now the speed is the junker car right now because you guys know what's going on with it. It's useless to me right now. It's still got to get the fenders done and stuff like that. But uh, today I got some exciting news because a piece of the channel comes back. You guys ready to see this? Bing, 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 bing. Bing. <laughs> okay, so before you guys start freaking out, you guys saw this on Instagram. I posted it on my story and I told you guys that we were going to chat about it. Before we start off, what is going on guys? Today, we have the return of my old Mazda Speed 3. For you guys that don't know, one sec, one sec, one, one sec. So for you guys that don't know, this right here, this is my old 2012 silver Mazda Speed 3. This is the first Mazda Speed I ever owned. And then I got Amber, which was my second Mazda Speed 3. Now, if you guys remember, if you guys are from that era, you guys remember bottle flips, uh, me selling the Mazda 3 to my mom and then Jace, and the channel going downhill because this car was just very unfortunate with this channel for some reason. But it did bring a lot of Mazda Speed people here, which helped with Amber's reveal. Um, for some reason, you guys like Amber lot more which I understand because I've already done a lot more to Amber than I did with this car so there's a little fender bender fender bender that she was involved in when she came down here to visit um, it looks horrible but it's actually really not that bad so obviously you guys can see the fender is absolutely crushed and now that it's crushed I'm selling paint if you guys want paint for my old speed hit me up $20 a flake I feel so bad. Eee. A little scuff on the wheel and the front bumper is hanging off. Headlight has not been damaged, although it was damaged a little bit and part of the front bumper came off here. So including with the fender bender, the fender is completely cooked. The bumper clip is cooked, but thankfully the uh, bumper isn't damaged whatsoever besides all this. All this is paint. There is no cracking or anything in this. There is obviously scuffing on the fog light bezel, um, but everything that I've seen so far looks okay. There's a little crack that I just noticed right here. Not a big deal. Um, Everything looks fine. I actually just noticed this front grills popped out a bit too. Um, you know, you find stuff as you go. So uh, this is what we're looking at. Everything is okay. Let me go ahead and pop the hood. Actually, let's describe what happened first. Uh, it's a three hour drive, so it's constantly highway. Now, obviously to get to my place, you gotta come off the highway and there's a certain exit and it's the one that she took that was, it's confusing to newcomers. There's, there's the off ramp, so obviously you exit and you're going along this road and then it brings you up to the loop and then it, 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 it like it brings you into your own lane with like three other lanes it's either three or two lanes I think it's three lanes and people haul ass through this bend so what it, it, it's it's so confusing but like you go up this hill and then this is like chilling and then they connect but where this exit or where this place is already it's covered by like bush, so you can't see anything. So literally, when you come off that exit and get into your own lane, and there's traffic coming behind you, you, you panic. The accident was more or less a 50-50. Um, I'm gonna put a quick disclaimer right now. Uh, there's no reason to hate behind this. Everyone has accidents, and uh, it's unfortunate if you have to roast against this. Anywho, continuing on, I'm not upset by this at all. The car is here, I'm gonna take care of it. I think it's, uh, I'm, I'm very privileged to have this back at my house to you know be able to work on this and I thought it would be cool to you know bring back something that kind of started us off with the Mazda speeds for you guys even if it's unfortunate but you know, it's fine right you tear down a car and you fix it and then bring it back to life nothing is bad I'm honestly surprised that that fender caved in like that um, I think it was mostly wheel damage from his car but uh, that did that but anywho we're here what do you do right I you know what I wrecked my Mazda 3 one month in of driving, that wasn't fun. Everyone makes mistakes, so while this car is here, let's thank her very much for giving me the opportunity to bring this back and make content with it. So let's go ahead and pop the hood. You guys remember? Oh man. <laughs> so we get more of a view when we come in here. Um, from what I can see, the frame is not bent. We got very lucky, although this is the fender is pushed quite a bit. Uh, there might have to be some moving around. Like you can see, obviously, like parts right here are bent. This is part of the headlight. When I first saw that, I'm like, uh oh, headlight has to be replaced. I forgot super glue existed. 
so the headlights okay so what I know so far is that the front bumper needs to be repainted and the fender needs to be replaced the clips from the fender liner uh, that it suffered you know warping and stuff like that and unfortunately we burned through a little bit uh, in the bottom here on the way back with the uh, convoy that we did a little wheel damage but I can paint over that so that's no problem and yeah that's where we sit with damage on this car so next video what we're gonna be doing it's a little late right now my I was I was wanting to do it today but I ran out of time I'm just very very lazy I'm so tired um, next video what we're gonna be doing or just in general with this car what we're gonna be doing is fixing it so the next upload is gonna be us taking the front bumper off uh, trying to get that fender off and then assessing I'll probably take the headlight out too and then assessing any more damage that might have happened underneath uh, the hidden parts um, and then once we kind of get the car fixed up there's some other things that I want to do to it fun wide we want to outfit it with LEDs and uh, do the badges black just like how they used to be and kind of bring it back to you know a, a fun stage because like she'd come down here you know I try and do stuff but there's not enough time but now that the car's actually at my house and it's sitting right here you know ever until I'm done with it now I actually can spend time to do fun things with it so besides the unfortunate incidents with the accident i think we shall still have fun with this the car is still the same how i had it before the same intake the hks blow off valve um the tail lights and everything are the same she's sitting on amber's gen 1 stock wheels but the tail lights are the same we just repainted the rear valence mud flaps are on so i it, it, it'll be fun um having both speeds here amber uh, Shaniqua as well, she's on a speed, and then this, the silver one is just like, it brings back memories. These are all the cars, right? Except the 323. That was just kind of a strange thing that happens, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, um, I want to make the most of this opportunity. I think this will be uh, really fun. Like I said, unfortunate events, but, you know, things happen, right? So anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you are excited to see the rebuild of my old second gen Mazda Speed 3, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content with this beauty. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and leave a like on the video, turn on post notifications. Other than that guys, the Mazda Speed 3 rebuild has begun. I'm sick of sitting around and doing absolutely nothing. Let's get it on. Guys, keep it real. I'll see y'all in the next one.